Hey there guys, it's Carlos and if you guys didn't know, I actually sold my HTC One and started using my Nexus S as a daily driver for over a week and a half now. I've been considering buying the Nexus 5 but I don't know yet. Anyways, I installed the SI Engine Mod 11 ROM on my old Nexus S and wow, it's super fast. So CM11 is Android 4.4 KitKat and is just super smooth on the Nexus S. It's like it has a whole new life again. Previously, I was running ice cream sandwich on it and it was crap. The phone would lock itself up every now and then. And with KitKat, I haven't had any problems besides a lag every now and then, but that's really expected on an old device like this. Now, everything seems to work like Google now, but I haven't had any luck with the voice commands by saying OK Google. I have to click on the microphone icon manually. And the camera, I can't remember if the touch to autofocus used to work on Ice Cream Sandwich, but it works on KitKat and it finally lets me focus on things that I want in focus with the camera. Now performance wise, it's smooth doing simple tasks like text messaging, calling people, browsing the internet, being on Instagram and Twitter, but when it comes to a power hungry app, it takes a while for it to do a certain task. Like editing pictures on the VS Code Cam app, it takes it a while to actually load the effect, which can get frustrating at times. Even when I try playing a YouTube video, it would take forever just to load, but I think that's YouTube itself since there are days videos would load faster than others. Battery life on this old Nexus S has been awesome for me. Slightly better than my old HTC One, but the only reason it's been better is because I can't get 3G on this phone since I have an AT&T SIM card in it. And it doesn't support the 3G band for AT&T. It only works with T-Mobile. Uh, I know, what a bummer. Since I've been using the Nexus S, it's been a bit awkward and hard getting used to a 4 inch screen, but I'm enjoying it anyways. I'm thinking about getting the Nexus 5 or should I wait and see what 2014 brings? Let me know in the comments down below and tell me if I should wait or not. So this was just my overview of my daily driver running KitKat, so make sure to smack that like button and subscribe for more videos, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.